My sense is, right, that at the, at the energy level, at the, the level of pure energy, at the level of pure vibration, right, there is no distinction. You know, there, there is love or there is not love, put it that way. In other words, it's, it's a constant, you know, because there's no differentiation at all, right? When you start to differentiate, let's say, even at the energy level, so you're differentiating, let's say, you know, me as an energy being from you as an energy being and so on, then I see absolutely, and I agree, that, you know, love then becomes more of a, you know, a, an energy characteristic of my, if you like, energy imprint or whatever you'd like to call it, my energy body, which, you know, it could be, because I'm, you know, I'm carrying the characteristics that will allow me to have the experience of being Glenn in the same way as you have the experience of being Martin, right? Okay, forget the names, but you know what I'm saying. So at that level, does that make sense? I mean, that, that's what I see. Now, I agree with you, because I've been looking at this recently, and I, I think it's fascinating. You know, I've, I've been reading one particular book, and it says, you know, one of the things we need to do in this world is to get and have the experience or try to have the experience of unconditional love. And I'm thinking, great, how do you do that, you know? Great, yeah. Now, answer, the first thing you do, of course, is start with yourself, right? Makes sense. Goes back to what we were saying earlier, heaven is within, right? Not outside. So, start with yourself. Now, the next thing is, you, you, you get that sort of, I suppose, a feeling of unconditional love, whatever that might be. And I'm not sure I've had it maybe twice in my life, but that's my judgment. And again, it's like you don't get a manual to say, tick the box, I've had it, now I've, you know, I can go on mm. to the next page. Um, but um, what, what I think is, um, where I think, you know, it's again going back to the mirror thing, what I think you can do is give unconditional love, whatever you think that may be. I mean, don't think about it, but just give it. This is, you know, give, give total um, compassion, give total acceptance mm. to the world, right? And by using the mirror principle, right, guess what? You get it back. It's like, you know, I, I get back what I give out. You know, it's using this thing. So well, that, it's, that's, that's good, having the experience for that's me of unconditional love, you know. That um, at my son's uh, prize giving, they had Victor Spinetti. Oh, right, uh, yeah. A great speaker. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, he finished off by saying, I want you to give you this thought. It's only the things that you can give away that you really have. Yeah, absolutely. You give love. Absolutely. You give caring. Absolutely. These are things you can give. You can't give away something you haven't got. Well, but the point is that, you know, these are the only things that you actually really have. Because you can give them. Okay, yeah. Because you can give love, it's the, one, it's the thing that you have. And that's what you're saying there. Well, I am saying that, but I think we can also think of people, and I mean, you know, no disrespect. I think we can all think of people who probably can't give love. And often it comes back to the point that you said where they're not sure if they can love themselves. Exactly, but it's again, you know, love is here. This is where love, it's like, you know, again, do we look, we look outside for love. We expect people to give us love, but really the love is here. We have to start with ourselves. If there's no love here, it's like feeling hurt, right? How can you feel hurt? You know, if someone says something to me, if you say something to me now, you rotten so-and-so, whatever, you know, or you, you try to upset me in some way, right? I'm not going to be upset unless I've already got that upset inside me. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's definitely. not an external thing. It's only because I will react to what you say based on something that's happened to me, let's say, in the past, or, you know, someone has said something similar before, and I go, ooh, you know, I was upset. So it's still in me, right? Same with love. Right? Same with happiness. Same with all of these things. You know, it, it, unless it's within you already, you're not going to feel it. So don't look for other people to give you love. It's all here. So you know? that's an interesting They're just kind of connecting with your love. Interesting concept that happiness and love are things that you can practice.